Um, from now. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I'd like to talk to you today about uh, the capacity and change. Uh, and I'd like to begin to very appreciate where you're coming because it's a Monday when I close it. Because I'm on. Um, but one said change will not come, we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones that we always need. Uh, which simply means that if we keep standing around and saying someone else is going to do this, then nothing is ever going to change. Uh, so, what Athletics University needs to change? The first thing that I think that needs to change in the Athletics University is housing. Students are stuck with rip-off rents and absolutely no rights when they're renting because they're so desperate to find a home. Um, so, as your BP, I'll introduce a blacklist of bad landlords and a student housing contract to give students the rights that they need. Another thing that I believe needs to change in Middlesex is food. Um, here in Middlesex, Chartwells run every single food outlet on campus. Because of this monopoly, they can set their food um, prices to whatever they want. As your BP, I would block any renewal of their contracts and I would organise their campus by picket to make them bring down their prices. Um, but unfortunately, ideas for change mean nothing if you don't know how to make change happen. 20 seconds. Because of my experience running societies, because of my time at school was here, because of my experience as a professional campaigner, and because of my lifetime as a political activist, I believe that I am the person to make that change happen. But even with all that, I need you, the student body, to place your trust in me when you go to vote this week. Um, so, friends, think big, vote big, and vote for Joe Parks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Seconds from now. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca, a second year dance teacher, and to be your next vice president of art design, Mimi Performing Arts. A campus just 20 minutes away from central London should feel vibrant, dynamic, and an exciting place to study and socialise. And even though our facilities are amazing, our campus just feels dead. But you know what? I haven't spent the last 18 months wishing someone else could change it for me. I've spent the last, uh, I've spent my time at organising events such as the live super event we held a few weeks ago. I've helped launch a new branch of our Power Media. I've helped organise the annual MJX market. And just this week, the deans of my school have agreed to the policies I've pushed for the longer opening hours in the road and uh, lots of the road too. All of this I've done as a full time dance student. Imagine what I can do for you as your full time vice president. Students have complained for too long about the price of food on campus on top of the extortion of London living and tuition fees. As your next vice president, I will campaign to ensure there's a student discount on food and drink on campus. As a member of the MGX cheer dance team, I know sport is a massive part of the United for so many of us, and we need that Wednesday afternoon off in, uh, to engage in sport and volunteering without missing lectures, so I want to continue to campaign for this. And we have a 24-hour library, but food isn't available for 24 hours, so I'll campaign for a 24 hour food outlet in the library as well. So if like me, you feel campus should be a safer, more vibrant and more dynamic place, to vote Rebecca, Matt Bex, for a vice president and a happy campus. Thank you. Thank you very much, and finally, we shall. 90 seconds from now. Hi guys, I'm Shai Yates, I am the leader of the Chair of the Women's Assembly, founder of the Singing and Musicians uh, Assembly, and usually I'm the last leader of the dance school. But I'm always the first one back in the issue in the morning, working on campaigns that make a difference to you. I've been homeless this year, living on for eight weeks on a sofa because there was no suitable housing in the local area. The London housing crisis affects all of us, not just me and you, but the whole city. And that's why I got involved in the Shouting for Housing campaign. I'm ashamed to go to a university that doesn't provide homeless students with temporary accommodation. And I am deeply ashamed to walk into a campus where a zero tolerance stand against sexual harassment, due in part to the lack of awareness within students. When elected, I will ensure that women are safe and walk into a campus where they are not victims. When elected, I will make sure I lobby the university to provide more temporary accommodation for homeless students. Because where was my university when I was homeless? When elected, I will make sure that I work on the SU and make graduation free and food on campus cheaper. Because we pay too much money at the university to pay for more things like this. Our graduation should be free and food should be cheaper. MDX has given a lot to me, and I can honestly say that if it wasn't for the opportunities I've had recently, I would have dropped out this year. And I feel it's my duty to give back. So if you'd like a union that's run for you, by somebody like you, somebody that wants to change for you and understand you, then please go far, vote sharp, and let me be the girl to change this for you. Thank you.
Um, is there anyone that can say that you want to have more late night security? We already have the crowd controls across campus, so it's been for our man TV. So all through the night, what would you do um, to improve it? Okay, so I know that there is security, they are on patrol. Um, for a, I study quite late on campus, and when I leave campus at 10 o'clock at night after I finish, I don't, I've never once seen one member of security on campus when I'm leaving, and I've walked across the whole campus. What I wanted to do is to increase the number of security and to have better training for security so that they are around and they make students feel safe on campus late at night instead of them not being able to see them. And that's time, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, would anyone else like to discuss security? Okay, sure. Yeah, so I'm, I agree with that. It's the only time that I've had seen the security guards um, uh, late night on campus is when they decided to walk into the public studio and ruin what I was doing. Um, I think that as well as an increased um, presence of security on campus, what we need is way more lighting, especially in that park. And also I think maybe panic buttons would be a really good idea if someone could hit it. It lets out loud noise, lets out lots of light, and sends security to your location. So that if you feel like you're in trouble, you can run to that and help yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, right. Cool, right. So, uh, security on campus is a massive thing because I feel like there's not even enough security and yet, let alone on the rest of campus. As a corporation leader and trying to work on such a harassment campaign this year, I also understand that, as I said, there is not enough members of staff or security to talk around at night. I'll do the best that I can to hire the staff, train the staff, make, make people more aware of walk around in groups, of using apps that tell your friends where to like, if you're going home or not. And that's time, thank you very much. We are now uh, social space on campus. Yeah, so they're good to talk about. That's a really good question, actually. So there's the new build, and I'm sure that we can definitely find some space in there. I know there's going to be some about uh, building just the society, and I'm sure that can be a lot of space for society to be the time. As well as that, you've got places like the Grove, but on the first floor of the Grove, there's that massive space with absolutely nothing there, like a big one or a big chair or something. It's those sort of spaces that we need to look at, we need to make them enjoyable and nice, but people actually want to go and spend their time. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to ask about this kind of social space on campus. Uh, <laughs> okay, so like Joe said, we've already we've got a new building being built. Hopefully, there'll be some uh, more space in there for social activities and things. Um, I said about the road. Um, nobody uses the road as much as they should. I put on my manifesto. I want to have an event bar in there so we can have more social activities going in there, uh, more events happening, and a bar to encourage people to come there. Not necessary. Um, all not all alcohol, like just to encourage a more social atmosphere in there um, and encourage more people in. And that's so, right. Thank you. Thank you.